let's look quickly look at the, these questions over here the multiple choice from 2022 um final paper geography paper one so you have a you have a a diagram of before river capture takes place over there and then it says they refer to the sketch below to answer questions 2.2.1 to 2.2.3 so it's a multiple choice question we have river a over there river b flowing over there and then we have also river river c so the question 2.2.1 says erosion at a is responsible for the lengthening um, of the river so as we discussed we said that this river or rather when your river is flowing over a um, a watershed it will be your um, your your capture screen your capture stream and it will it will erode this river backward so this what this is d which is headward headward erosion and in 2.2.2 the landform caused by this type of erosion in question 2.2.1 is remember like i said this river for uh this river or river a will erode this and will form what will form a um a waterfall right so remember for a waterfall to form if this river erodes remember we have here a solid rock but beneath the solid rock we have a metam a sedimentary rock which is less erosive or resistant to erosion so it will form a a what a a gorge so answer is c it will form a a gorge and in 2.2.3 river c will eventually capture a uh, river b because it flows on a gradient and over rock so river c will eventually capture river b right and um and it flows on a gradient over so it flows you have your options there a b c and d so one gentler slope steeper slope um softer and harder so we know river c flows on a what on a steeper slope like i said right and then which is your gradient and over a a softer rock remember like i said above is a it's a hard rock but below is a is a softer rock so your answer will be steeper and softer so let's see it's two and three so your answer is d which is steeper which is two and no your answer is actually c yes your answer is c from steeper and three which is softer rock so 2.2.4 you have now after the river captures a diagram showing where river capture has taken place um answer questions 2.2.4 to 2.2.7 um, referring to the sketch so river c is known as the so let's see this is the river c river c remember river capture has now taken place meaning it has now overtaken the waters of a river uh, of this river which is uh, which is river b so we call river c what the the capture stream meaning it captures the rivers of of this river so river c 
or rather river C will be the capital stream which is B and then feature D is referred to as what is features D we said it's a gap as you can see because it was flowing over here meaning we no longer have this over here meaning it's a wind it's a wind gap over over there because of this um this gap that we have over over here so 2.2.5 feature d will be a ruin gap so 2.2.6 the resultant fluvial landform of a river captured at e is a at e so remember like i said when river c um erodes this steepness or this watershed it forms a what it forms a, a waterfall so your answer there is b the resultant fluvial landform fluvial landform so that's what's important over there if i was in an exam i will highlight this so that i remember all my fluvial landforms so that's a that's a waterfall right and then last question 2.2.7 the characteristics of a river uh, of a river f right are that it flows in a n valley and the volume of water right so river f remember now it has less volume of water right and it forms or rather it flows within a what a a wider a wider valley so the characteristics of f are that it flows in a wide narrow wide or narrow we said it's a it's a wide um valley because remember at first it had it had rather large volume of water flowing inside but now because of the river capture it consists of less water flowing in it so it will be your um your wide but with less water flowing and the volume of water will will have decreased like i said less water will be flowing inside um the river f so let's see our uh, option there you said it's wide and decreases which is one in four so one in four meaning your answer is c i hope that made sense to you if you got to that total you'll have seven marks in exam which will cost you about seven minutes six to seven minutes to to um attempt in an exam please don't forget to like share subscribe until the next one